Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my 27th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to nest and do until loops and do while loops together and also show you how to add your encounters into them. So let's get started. What, what I've done here on this worksheet is I've just put in the, the numbers 1 through to 56 and these are going to represent the 56 colours that are held in the colour index within Excel. So it's not your your standard colours, normally you just use red, blue, green, but there's a colour index of 56 colours that you can access in your VBA, so I'm going to show you that now. So let's go to our editor and start coding. So what I want this code to do is just go through all of those cells. So first of all I'm going to want to get it to go across the columns at the top until it gets to the column G where it's blank. So I'm going to go do until the cell is blank. So I'm going to set myself a counter first of all. So my counter is going to be called uh, count Y as integer and that's going to count the columns. I'm also going to set myself one up now while I'm doing them, a, a one for the X axis as well. I'm then going to set count y equals 1 and count x equals 1. And then I can start off my my loop. So I'm going to do do until I'm going to use this workbook dot sheets sheet 1 dot cells and then I'm going to use 1 because I'm going to count across the top row and then comma count y because that's going to then increment across the top row dot value equals nothing. So this is going to keep going through the cells until we get to a blank cell. And then I'm just going to loop. And what I'm going to need to do is because I'm using my own counter, I just need to increment this because otherwise it's going to just keep checking the same cell over and over again. And that isn't going to do anyone any good at all. And then that's going to loop through, so that's going to go through each of the columns until it gets through to G1 and then it's going to stop. And within this we then want to go down each of the columns uh, while we've still got a number in there. So I'm, I could use another do until loop until it gets to nothing, but just so to show you that you can mix and match your do's and your do, do whiles and your do until's, I'm going to do a do while this workbook dot sheets sheet one I make sure you put in a load of random characters and dot cells and then we want to use our count x as our row and then column count y as our column because we want to go down each column individually and then do while it doesn't equal nothing pretty much exactly the same, just completely the opposite, if that makes any sense at all. And let's just make it so that sheet 1 is spelt correctly. And then again we want to just put a count x equals count x plus 1. So that's how you're going to nest do until loops and do while loops together, same way as you do with for loops. And and then what we want to do in here is I just want to set this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells count x comma count y dot value no not dot value dot interior dot color index equals and so that's going to tell it tell it to set the interior of the cell to the color index and then the color index takes a value between 1 and 56 and so I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to give it the value of the cell which are numbered 1 through to 56 so dot value and again this this line's getting quite lengthy so I'm just going to put an underscore under it and put that on the next line uh, just to tidy it up a little bit and so let's play this and see if it works. Uh, let's press play and then let's go into our worksheet and then you know it's just done it for the first row, it's filled them in 
but then for the other ones it hasn't worked so let's just go in and check why that is so do until and basically so what it's done is it's looped through and it's put the counter all the way up to 10 and then when it's looped back onto the next column the counter's still at 10 so what we just need to do is we need to put this section here that says count x equals 1 we need to move it in here so that it resets itself every time we go through that top loop so that's an easy mistake to make it's one I make quite often uh, so just make sure that if you're doing nested loops with your own counters then you just put in your declaration of the value of the counter to start off with to reset it every time so let's press play now and go across here and there you go so that's just given us a nice grid full of pretty colors uh, <laughs> and just showing us what all the different color and direct sources are so it's probably worth doing at some point just so you can check out what what the different colors are within your color index and uh, so that's it for this tutorial and uh, if you're enjoying these tutorials then please 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 subscribe to my channel so you can catch any further ones uh, so thanks for listening I hope to catch you soon